of people think that Hanukkah is just the Jewish Christmas. It really isn't. It's really uh, actually uh, commemorating a, a time of warfare, um, a time in um, about 160 B.C., Jerusalem was taken over by the uh, by a Syrian regime, very very wicked ruler, who uh, wanted the Jews to become like Greek, wanted them to jettison all their beliefs, and what they believed about God, wanted them to believe in their own gods such as Zeus, things of that manner, and it was a very terrible time in Jewish history. So we can learn a lesson from this historical event. It, this was called the Maccabean Revolt, and there was a small group of Jewish people, actually a family uh, called the Maccabees. They rose up and said, enough is enough. And they truly believed in the power of God. And they used Psalm 89, 8 as their motto, O Lord God of heaven's armies, where is there anyone as mighty as you? That was their war cry. They took back what the devil had stolen. And Hanukkah is a celebration of them going into the temple, which was desecrated. And they came together and said, we're going to restore, we're going to cleanse this temple. And they only had enough of consecrated oil, of which they put in the menorah, their lamp, to last only for one day. And they needed light throughout uh, eight days as a matter of fact to cleanse the temple and so they began to cleanse the temple renovate the temple restore the temple and the oil lasted for eight days and that's why it's called Hanukkah is called the festival of lights because God allowed them to miraculously overcome the devil but also to miraculously restore rebuild the temple to rededicate if you would the temple of God Hanukkah literally means dedication during this time period I want you to remember that the Lord is calling all of us to rededicate our temple which is the body of Christ which is your body you are bought with a price by the precious blood of Jesus Christ your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So this is the time where you're inviting the presence of God, His holy light, to come into the fullness of your body, to every organ of your body, into your soul. Of course, your spirit man born again of God. So this is a time for you to meditate on these things, bring up your body to the Lord, repent of anything, ask forgiveness, get it cleansed, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the blood of Jesus, and rededicate yourself. You're saying that I am taking my body, Lord, and putting it on your altar, which is my reasonable service. Uh, I want to be your vessel. I want you to use me, spirit, soul, and body, for your kingdom. And I invite the light of the Lord into my life that's what the Spirit of God is saying and look for a miracle during this time of Hanukkah look for light Jesus said that we are the light of the world even though this is a dark time uh, in our nation spiritually it's a dark time in our nation governmentally it's a dark time in our nation but in in the month of December it's a, it's a dark time you know in the middle of December we have the uh, shortest day and the longest night so uh, we can see that in the dark we have the light which is Christ and we should never let go of that we should always cling to that and we should want to walk in the light even as he is in the light so that we can have fellowship one with another